Hello, this is Professor Grant Thrall. Today we're going to look at a property assessment data file and take that data file with a uh, and perform an SQL search on it uh, so that instead of having all property types we have only housing and then we'll use that housing data that we extract from the property assessment data file for subsequent statistical analysis. Uh, using Maptitude I'm going to open up a workspace that I had created in my previous videos. And I'm calling this workspace 12001 Parcels Boundary because Florida is FIPS code 12, Alachua County is alphabetically FIPS code 001. This contains parcel polygons for the real property in Alachua County and it also has Alachua County boundary and that is where I left off from a previous video. The uh, This data file has 85,157 records and it's got lots of different property types but I'm only interested say in, in housing and this particular data file has a useful code which is the property use code but we don't know what the property use codes mean so and in your county they may be they may be different however most counties that I've experienced with their property assessment data files they have a property use code Department of Revenue code building use code these these are not to be confused with zoning zoning is uh, you might have a uh, house whose current use is as a house, as a dwelling, uh, but it's zoned to be commercial. So we're going to go to the Alachua County Property Assessor's Office on the internet. I've already opened up my browser to that and their web page is ACPAFL for Alachua County Property Assessor Florida.org and I'm going to uh, perform a, uh, uh, a search, uh, go to Property Search advanced property search and the Alachua County Property Assessor's Office follows very closely the International Association of Assessing Officers standard so click on property use code and it will give me the definition denotes the primary use of a property it's a four position numeric field the uh, first two positions are required by the state and the second two positions are for local discretionary use here in the state of Florida so we have property uses from single family 0100 to 999 and 9 and uh, in between for example let's go to 1700 which is office but 1701 is post office so local discretionary use was to put in the zero one uh, tremendous opportunities for doing market analysis land use analysis with such data sets but we're only interested in single family and so but we've already downloaded the parcel polygon data file so I can do a, a query. I'm uh, in, interested in a structured query language query. So we select by condition and I select from my fields and the field I'm interested in is P use for property use. And here we have P use. Oops, missed it. So here we have PUs and I can either select from the operator list or I can type it in equals and then by selecting values 
I get the list of all of the unique values in that data field. And notice that they're surrounded by quotation marks. This would indicate that this is a text string instead of a real number. And I'm going to call this selection 12001-parcels SFD for a single family dwelling. And I'm going to create a new set. And it's uh, going through the 85,000 records, and there it is already. And now I'm going to save this, Tools, Export, and I could save it as a uh, standard geographic file, which is Maptitude Caliper Corporations, or it's a Esri shape file or a map info. I'm just going to leave it as a standard geographic file. And I'm going to call this data layer 12001. And it's going to be uh, parcels. And I'm going to call it uh, P use 0100. And I'm going to add the layer to the map. And I'm not going to create topology. That takes a lot of time. And I not going to have a lot of use for it at the moment. And export as centroid points, not going to choose that. But if I wanted to minimize my data set, particularly if I had a county whose population was a lot larger that has many more houses in it, like Los Angeles County or Miami-Dade, then I might choose to use points instead of a polygon just to reduce the size of my database. And now I need to choose where to put this and I'm going to put it in overwrite this data file which I created just a short while ago and now we wait a few minutes I am using a, a new computer from uh, for me at this time period from Dell it's an Alienware with an Intel i7 CPU and a NVIDIA graphics card and it goes pretty fast certainly faster than computer that uh, it replaced. Nevertheless, a lot of your time in geographic information systems is just waiting for the processing to occur, and that's pretty fast, it, having gone through all those records. So we don't need this uh, data view anymore, this browser. I'm going to close it down. And here we have Alatra County. I, I'm going to turn off my uh, old parcel polygon layer and I have my new parcel polygon layer so wherever we see brown on the map here uh, that represents the location of a house or PU 0100 and I'm going to zoom in on the western part of Gainesville And we can see the uh, parcel polygons and how they're very nicely arrayed and uh, what we would expect to see of houses in, uh, along the uh, streets. So next is uh, we're going to do some analysis on these parcel with the uh, attributes of the parcel polygons. But now that we have selected them, we are almost at uh, a time that we can actually do some analysis uh, with this database.